Hello! In this video, I'm gonna compare a cheap feather boa to an expensive feather boa. Here on my channel, you learn everything that helps you for creating your burlesque routine. For example, all the typical burlesque moves or how to choreograph your routine. So subscribe and now let's start. So the feather boa is one of the most beautiful burlesque accessories. It always looks so nice when you use one in your routine. But as there are so many different colors, different sizes, different prices, different qualities, it is so hard to choose. And that's why I decided to make a video for you that it will become easier for you to choose a feather boa. So at first, let's take a look at to the sheep feather boa. So this feather boa I bought for about $10 in a carnival store. It comes in so many different colors, so I chose the black one. It is 74 inches long and it consists of turkey feathers. It looks fine and it feels okay. At the end, it really is a question of taste, whether you like it or not. I like it very much. It looks and feels okay, although it is peaking a little bit, but this doesn't matter. And the end of the feather boa looks like this. So here you can see that it is, it is very cheap. But as it is the same color as the boa, you do not see it on stage. But there's one thing I really regret about this feather boa. It loses so many feathers all the time. When I unpacked it here at home, it lost so many feathers. When I put it about around this doll, it lost so many feathers. And when I dance with it, with it, it loses so many feathers. So look at my floor. I didn't do big things with this boar and it has lost so many feathers. Honestly, I am afraid that this boar will not live very long. I cannot really imagine that it will look good after some times when it loses so many feathers every time you use it. We will see. Yes, and then now let's take a look at the other feather boa. This feather boa I bought for about $160, so it is already much more expensive. It is 94 inches long and yes, it is an 8 plight feather boa. So it is plight eight times. The more plight it is, the thicker the feather boa gets and of course the more expensive it is. So this one is an 8 plight feather boa. And yes, it consists of ostrich feathers. They really look so beautiful, so fluffy. I really like this feather boa. It feels so brilliant when I wear this feather boa. And yes, the feathers always fall down. When I hold it like this, the feathers fall down. And when I hold it into the other direction, like this, the feathers fall down also. And at the end, the feather boa looks like this. Yes, and the best thing about this boa, it does not lose any feathers at all. So I have this feather boa for about five years now. It still looks so brilliant. It looks good. It's still fluffy and yes, so this lives very long and yeah, I'm very happy about this feather boa. Yes, so at the end, it is really a question of taste and of money if you want to buy a feather boa. 
and of course you have to decide for which purpose you want to use your feather boa. If you want to use your feather boa only one single time, then I would recommend you to buy a cheaper feather boa. But if you want to use a feather boa in your burlesque routine and it has to live very long and you do not want to clean your floor after every time you use it, then I personally prefer the more expensive feather boa. It's because it, yes, it just looks fine, it feels better, it doesn't lose its feathers. So I'm really happy with the expensive feather boa and I'm a little bit sad about the cheap feather boa. Yes, and that's my video about feather boas. I hope I could help you with this. If you have more tips for all of us, please let us know and write them down in the comments below. I would be very happy. Yes, so, and if you like this video, give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye.